At the Potawatomi Zoo, we have a common barn owl named Ms. Wigglesworth. The common barn owl is the most widespread owl species in the world. They are found on every continent except for Antarctica. They're threatened by habitat fragmentation due to agricultural and urban development. This decreases their availability of prey and shelter. Ms. Wigglesworth is one of several rehabilitated raptors we care for at the Potawatomi Zoo. You can see that her injuries include a partial wing amputation. This prevents her from being able to sustain flight. Flying is essential for owl survival in the wild. It's how they are able to catch their prey. Barn owls eat mostly small rodents like mice. One way you can help raptors like barn owls is by avoiding the use of pesticides and poisons that may end up being consumed by rodents. Barn owls have a great sense of sight and hearing. They are able to detect a mouse a football field's length away. Their disc-shaped faces help to funnel sound towards their ears, which are hidden beneath their feathers but located directly behind their eyes. Owls do have fixed eye sockets. You can note on our skull here that ring of bone. Because of this, owls need to have a great ability to turn their heads. It is a common myth that they can turn their heads a full 360 degrees. That is not true, but due to the 14 vertebrae they have in their neck, twice the amount that a human has, they are able to turn their head about 270 degrees. Here's an easy experiment you can do at home to compare your peripheral vision to that of an owl's. The two items that you will need will be a um, cardboard paper roll and a pencil. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to close one eye, extend a pencil in front of your face, and without moving your eyes, you are going to slowly move that pencil to the side and stop when you can no longer see it. So I'm gonna slowly move it and around here, the pencil disappears. Next, we can repeat this experiment and compare our vision to that of an owl's. I'm gonna place the paper towel roll in front of my eye, and I'm gonna, again, take the pencil and start to moving it, moving it to the side. With this, with the inability to move my eyes and with this narrowed field of vision, I can only see the pencil to about this point, which is much closer than before. Now, with the flexibility of an owl's neck, they're gonna be turning their head to keep that, whatever they're looking at in their field of vision. So with me turning my neck and following the pencil, I can extend to about here.